a little bit. Yeah. Um, because we had this this incident that happened outside yeah, yeah. with your character. Uh, I want to go in. Uh, I'm not no, do. well, wait a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to walk in, take the blood that came out of me from getting stabbed and put it on the stool, one of the stools. Oh, okay. Now part of me will be in the spar forever. <laughs> Until some other idiot comes So <laughs> as you're doing that, <laughs> rolling uh, behind the bars, looking at you, he's going, Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> he says, uh, he comes over and he says, free beer. Do a couple of them. Okay. So you can put your bloody, bloody footprints around. <laughs> so let me reset slightly by saying, describing old man Elliot as an old guy. Okay. He is probably in his 70s. Okay. You can tell. He's got a long, like, sort of handle brow. Like yeah, yeah. Mustache. It's silver. It's, 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 it's salt and pepper. It's like black and gray. He's got long hair. He's got uh, a duster. You know what a duster is? It's a very long coat. It's kind of uh, tan, but it's dirty, and it's it's all you can see. It's it's been used. It's almost like he's he's worn it his whole life. He's tall and lanky. <clears throat> he's got like um, suspenders on and a white shirt, and he's got a hat that's got a rim on it. It's a much bigger rim than you would normally typically see here in Ravenloft. <clears throat> you can smell him. He smells like a horse. He smells like he's been around horses his whole life. He smells like horse dung and horse horse. So, having said that and walked back in, he kind of, uh, 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 so you charmed him. So what I'm trying to say with him is he left you alone. He's not beholden to you because he's not beholden to people. Yeah. As you will learn from him, he is more a horse person who feels like he's like a whole, you know, horse person. Is, is he one of those? So, is he one of those? Those gifts? Oh my God! He's, he's he not straight. No, he's not one of those. So he's going to sit you all down and he's going to say, "I just want to talk to you all about your mounts because I believe you are not taking care of them. Now, where are you traveling?" That's how you get to know basis. You're putting blood on stew. <laughs> okay. Faust Mills up the road. You're actually going to Lacar. But Faust Mill is along the way, but he's going to say to you, uh, <clears throat> I, let me ask you, when you drink a water, do you give your steed, he's looking at you too, do you give the water that you drink to the horse? Yeah. Right, he's gonna look at you, he's about to go. You want water? <laughs> he's about to just go with you. No, I'm fine. I'm he's going to look at Gaspacho and say, I'm getting my milk. I, uh, what horse do you ride? I have the horse. <laughs> I eat the horse. <laughs> uh, the thing I have the horse. For who? The little one. Oh, I see. Yeah, me, you the baby. The little one is probably the best suited to be riding a horse. It's right. You riding a horse? He looks at that horse. Yes. You're in one of them horses laying on his side, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Like more horse. Yeah. Like not much more horse. left in him, I'm afraid to say. And you, you're riding the unicorn. Yeah. And the lady here was riding what? She was riding a white horse. The other horse that's laying on his belly. Oh, she no. got three horses out there. Oh, what's no. this? What's this fella riding? The brown horse. Well, you got four horses out there. Okay. Yeah. Wait, where's the All blue right. one? Huh? I thought that was a blue one. Richard has a blue one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you about that blue one here in a second. <laughs> it's a disease. <laughs> so those two that were on the ground, they got belly ache. That's why they're, that's probably from eating dirt and sand. Because you ain't feeding them correct. They don't, you know, when you stop somewhere, you get them food. Okay. Even the unicorn. Unicorns used to grazing and going where it wants to go. I've seen about a dozen unicorns in my day. And uh, most of them, they don't stick around very long. And that's because they're used to roaming and moving on their own. They're not, they're, they're wild. They're wild creatures. It's with you for some reason, I don't know. But he looks at Ed and he says, you're going to bust it back. It ain't used to carrying something on his back. That horse don't have anything on, never had anything on his back. Now he says, I went up and I slapped the, inside, uh, the upside of it. And he says, uh, it's got, I think she's developing roach back. She's going to get an ache oh, in no. her back. Yeah, from you carrying it. That'll turn into a deformity. <laughs> I'm about to Who the hell is this guy? I'm about to say, tell us about I'm our just, horses. Here, 
Here's what I'm trying to give. I'm and trying to give you one. You don't have one. Right, yeah, well, you are a part of this conversation. Right, yeah, you're riding your tiger. I have to be very fine. Hey, I know my pixie's not rude like yours. Hey, I believe in conscience. Yours is rude. You're, hold on, I got, I got both of you talking at the same yeah. time, so let me answer you first. Your horse is having problems because of his belly. You're not feeding it right. Now, I'm going to I'm going to offer you a proposition for your horses if you will go for it. But what else did you want to say? I was going to say, I believe in Kantian ethics. Horses do not have rational will, therefore they are just property. <laughs> Therefore, and if you treat them like that, I'm here to tell you that's fine. That's what most people do. But there's advantages to not. And that's where I'm here to help you. What advantages? The advantages are that they're going to stay with you. I mean, these are one of your best tools. These are one of your best allies. And if you just treat it like an animal, you're just going to ride, 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 they're going to leave you. They're not stupid. And don't look at, look at Randolph. They're not said, stupid. Yeah. One of our... Branded? If you want to do that, that's fine. But I'm going to talk to him, and I'm going to talk to her. because, And I'm going to talk to this gentleman about his unicorn, because he's going to lose it real fast. And I hate to see you do that. Besides, I'd like to see if I can't might help you with that unicorn. So that's why I'm worried. That other one's out there wheezing and coughing. They've got the heaves. It's ready to, it's got sweats. You got horses with problems. You can't eat your dogs! You're just high. heaves. I got to hide! Don't you! He's riding around in circles. I got to hide! My character is going to go around. He's drunk, you forget. My character is going to go around. He's got to hide! He's going to go around. My character is going to go around. He's 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 going to go around. Oh, you're not listening. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just going to move him by you. Dog. He's saying to you all, he's saying, so. Hey, Christ, can go up to the park today. He's got your heart! Heaves, he says. He's got the heaves. You should be listening to old, old man Elliot, he says. You need to listen to him. Is one of those your horses? He's going to run around. He's got your heart! Heaves. He'll run up to these two guys, too. Nah, he's okay with it. He says, as long as you're running around, I may work up a thirst. <laughs> I'll sell you another beer once you're done. He's just running around screaming it. Uh, so he says, uh, uh, well, let's see, you guys kind of threw me around a little bit. You can't. He says, uh, you know, riding a you know, unicorn is like you're jackhammering its, its back. It needs to strengthen its back. Okay. So if uh, you allow me to take that unicorn, I will train it. Here's what I will do. Gold. No, here's what I will do. Well, you, you know, you doubt me, and I understand. Uh, you all don't know me, but I know I've seen groups of don't, you all. Don't mind the hobo. I've seen <laughs> groups of you all come around. <laughs> I've seen. Uh, we make him walk. I'm willing to swap out my uh, some trained horses for you, and I'm willing to take these nags off of your back. Especially that one that's painted blue. It's painted. Do you understand that? That's what? I'm gonna show it. He says. He says. How would you like it if I come up to you with a bucket of blue paint and a, and a brush I got and I put it, put it, 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 it all over you and make you sick? I got it. I'm up for it. But you know what? Yeah, you are. You are. But I'm you know, like that's not good for the horse. I didn't know. I thought it was the blue. You didn't didn't think that was kind no. of odd? You I mean, I have him. seen blue bo horses. They come out from the the shadow rim. He had a blue horse. Right, he had a blue. I bet, right, he had a blue. I bet you it was painted. Where no, is it now? It, 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 it's not gone. It's not real. It's not the same body. It's different body. Come with my brother. Whip's oh. horse was bisected by my laser. It was what? <laughs> Wasn't there a horse that got bisected by a bisected by a new horse with a laser? Yeah, that was. Oh, you cut it with your own laser. Yeah. 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 Different character, different character, Hans. Different the time, different yeah. story. But he's he's looking at you and saying, "Well, now see what I'm saying. You, you had a steed that was by your side. He was trying to help you and do everything, and you killed it. You got to take care of them. You got to try and treat these animals proper. They're they will help you if you do that. That's they will help me if I'm right? starving." Now, I don't want to take any inference on that statement. I think that's a very cold and blood-hearted statement. Y'all were traveling with this one. Good luck to y'all. You might eat your foot in one day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I, I would like to take, uh, I would like to trade you your animals. My animals, 
Uh, I can gather some and give them to you. Why would he trade it? They would not be blue. Uh, I'll show you what, what happens. Uh, he takes a little whistle out of his back. He says, my horses are trained to f feed and go off and graze while you're doing whatever you're doing. Okay. And when you blow the whistle, they will return. Okay. They, will, they, in fact, can do that anywhere. We have trained them so that they can come to you. So that allows them to go and feed. They don't have to feed right where they're at. And they can go get good food that's around instead. And we'll train them to, 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 to search for good food. That'll help you, okay? Yeah. Now, the next thing you have to do is make sure that, you know, like with a unicorn, that you got the back of it so that it's you and all that armor. Man, that, you're heavy. You're a ton. You're she a ton. my loyal steed. You think she's heavy? I'm like halfway. <laughs> But you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at you. Yeah, need to be safe. Look at the you, you, you know, you gotta, you, you gotta give it a break. You know, you gotta give it a chance. I don't write it often. I probably well, wrote it twice. But, but the fact is, you're gonna want to use it, and and if you don't, uh, if you don't let it run wild a little bit, saddle. it's gonna, it's gonna leave you. Get it It'll just go. He comes when I call him. Well, I'd like the opportunity to train it too, but you have to not call it. So you're just going to have to want to stay with me. So you're going to have to talk to it and tell it, hey, what you go with this man? Probably about six weeks. I can train it so that it'll, what did you have? So nice. so yeah, there you go. go. That's <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That is not quite the scale, but close. Now that's possible. So I'm going to take them animals. I bet you bought those from uh, Philip in Mordenshire. No. 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 He's been known. He's been known to. Uh, he, he, you all have been coming from from that Van Richten fella. I got my no. I've seen your like. You're no dad. Your groupie, you just came you through. Because you a lot of your group got right. through this area. Oh, yeah. What was their name? Was their name? And they're orange. There was a group the that. Came through, orange the group come through here. I don't know. Yeah, they're it's a bunch fine. of assholes. They were just riding, yeah, their, riding their horses, their horses yeah. as hard as they could. Yeah, you tell them. them. Yeah, you see the orange team. I, I tell them all the time. I tried to tell them. I tried to tell Van Richten. I trained these horses for you. Y'all are y'all are ignorant. Okay, this is out of discussion. You did. And this is out of discussion. I want to ask. I know that. Yeah, something out of the game. Would we actually be able to kill the other teams to raise up the competition? <laughs> <laughs> Is your brother boy Adam, you fuckers? <laughs> well, we kill the A team, we become the A team. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, I, I, I don't have an answer for that. How dare you steal That's an interesting question. Uh, but I, I, I never thought that uh, that it would come to your mind, uh, given that you're supposedly trying to eliminate evil. Mind. You did? Yes. You're trying to eliminate evil. It's one way to uh, get yourself to the top, I guess. Yeah. Right? Eliminate right. everybody above you. Right. <laughs> wow. What a group. Right, Steve. We got one down to the goddamn orange people. What a group. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the orange leader is a vampire. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. It turns out, it, to it turns out he's strong. Oh no. <laughs> so here's the deal. I'll, uh, strong uh, was the orange team the entire time. They were all just strong. <laughs> all of them. Here's so the it's women. up to you. I'll, I can I can trade you your horses if you'd like. I'll trade. And I'll uh, I just need. They're more expensive because they're a trained horse. So, you know, you I don't know what you paid. You probably paid the regular price for these, right? My God gave me well, my horse. Me, Matt, yeah, the, the unicorn, I, like I said, I ain't seen many of those. I ain't going to give you a blue one. Did you get a magical weapon? Give you a magical weapon. Mm -hmm. They're worth a lot of money. Several hundred gold. Well, uh, Lizzie will say I'll just buy everyone horses. Hey! Well, that's not, man, oh, very nice of you. Want to see a magic trick? I have only laid the God. They see how many That's good for you. That's uh, well known, but you know, my, my steeds will, 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 will take care of themselves. He's going to have me a gold piece, and the gold piece is going to magically disappear. Where's my okay. Where did it go? Do it again! Was it for scenes where the gold piece went? Nope, it went to pay off my debt. Oh, it does. It disappears because he's in debt. Oh, no! So it, it disappears. How much did you give me? A gold? Well, it's only one. You don't want to give him the money, but you're dead. But he's 8,998 gold now. I got one gold on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at me. So does it automatically just yeah. goes away? That's what I'm going with. Okay. It's, a magical, it's a magical contract. I see it's All magical. right. That's fine. Don't let any, him put his hands on anything, no. I guess. Huh? Ooh. Uh, all right. 
So uh, I can be here in the morning and bring you replacements. I'll take that mm -hmm. blue stallion. My unicorn. It's my favorite. It's my companion. My god. Well, he says, "What do you mean?" Yeah, sure. It's your after six weeks. After six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come by here and I'll. Do you do any damage to it? I mean, it's not like. Oh no, no, no. I I love okay. these animals. I'm gonna okay. take care of it. I'm gonna see. You'll have to talk to it and let it know. Well, my, my unicorn only teleports once per day, and it already teleported. It did? Yeah. It's gone? It's gone. Good enough. <laughs> well, I can't do anything there. I can't help you. I can have it come back tomorrow. Can you do me a favor and kick him? Find a little fella and go kick I'm him. Gonna him. Oh, Brian, just what, if I'm going to hit him again. 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 I'm Oh, Ronnie, you're gonna kick me in the cheek. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not you're sure. Kick. I'm not sure how that all had transpired. You're if that was my kick. fault or what, but uh, I guess you did. I guess you did the little men out here. Knocked out. I did so twenty. You're just gonna slump on the stool. Brian, you're gonna keep seeing him. Continue to bleed a little bit on the on the stool. Cool. And, and then he's the shopkeeper shaking his head up and down. Uh, so uh, Elliot's gonna say, uh, uh, "Did he have a horse?" Yes. It's yeah, I had a brown floor. horse. It's the other one on the floor. Oh, okay. It's the brown one on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want a horse for him? All right. I'll bring back three horses. Right? Uh, Actually, four. four. No, wait, five. Five. It's a unicorn. Anne has a horse, Lizzie has a horse, Randolph has a horse, and Edward has a four. 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 Well, there, so the unicorn is gone. I'll summon it in the morning. Oh, okay. It That's talks fine. To me. Does it talk to you? Did yeah. you can you had to convince it to stay with you. So. Yeah, my god gave him me. His, his opportunity. Yeah, but your God ain't going to help him. Just so you know, he got the if he's got the sway back. He was such an over... Well, that's a problem now. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I got like 20 grandchildren. Did he do it? Did he do it? Does it? I'll figure it out. Did his version power was so Yeah, you'll find out which one you good at. Yeah, it was like, boy, you're good. No, no, no. It was like a radar <laughs> that picked up every unit in the area. Had to submit to him. Had to submit to his opportunity. What are you talking about? And his opportunity. He's 80 years old. Oh, oh, oh. So I surpassed the wizard. Okay. He's an arc mage. I'm an arc mage. His virginity was so great. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. It okay. attracted the unicorn. Wow. Uh, uh, is that what happened? Oh, okay. I didn't know the story. He had a choice of 100 unicorns. Well, so old man Elliot says, I'll I'll get back down to my ranch. I'll come. You all got the money? All right. I'll do the unicorn for nothing. Okay. Because I want the advantage of... You, can't, you won't take it for an off, right? Oh, no, okay. I would not harm that okay. thing, Deacon. Sure. I've only seen maybe a dozen of these in my life, and not a one of them ever stayed with anybody. But uh, I, I, how long have you had this one with you? You may not come back. Uh, one of your comrades tried to harm it. It's a contract. You don't know that. It's a contract. You can't. You can't. Nobody can't knows how that. that. He could that. tell you did something. You did something. Of course, you did something. And I can tell you did something. Yeah, yeah, everybody I knows you did, you did something. As far as my story goes, I tried to Because with you're a knife in your hand? You had a knife on the ground, my friend. The knife fell you out of my jacket. Ah, I see. When I flew me down. When it ah, knocked me off. Ah, I see. I heard you knock out me. The poor excuse. All right. He says, I'll be back in the morning. So you all just, if it comes back, I'll take it. If not, I miss an opportunity probably last Time in my life, I'll be able to help. All right, thank you. He's looking at Gaspacho. He says, Yay. "You're kind of scary." Ooh. Uh, but I'm pleased to meet you. Oh yes, you were the fine day to meet you too, sir. I can't believe my ears. Like Pokemon. Okay, so thank you. Thank you all. I'll be back. Charizard to fly. Uh, so he leaves. Right, it's sad. Bernie was N's companion. He's only twelve. And, and so Roland three, comes up. Yeah. Adventure. Uh, are you? Oh. No, I had him for a while. I just never summoned him. Oh, yeah, is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So at this point, you can go ahead and eat. Yeah. Uh, you're you're not down. Are we having tacos? Is that what we're eating? Uh, I don't know what uh, he says. Uh, I don't know what that is. He says, uh, but we have. Uh, well, we have. Uh, no, we have. Uh, we have uh, sausages. 
We've got some sausages. Oh, I can rustle those okay. up for you. Thank you. And uh, some more Miko brown, except for the little fella. He's he's a little round up. Very uh, round up. Uh, kind of irritating the crowd. <laughs> Great. Okay. So he's going to give you the food, and uh, oh, he's going to say, uh, uh, "I hear you uh, uh, took care of the uh, the problem down there at the Palm the, uh, Ranch. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very much. Okay." So he's going to go back. And uh, we're just going to say you guys sleep the night. Okay? Yeah, and probably... Now you're laying on the stool. Is somebody going to carry you up to bed? And we'll take him up to bed. <laughs> and we'll, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was looking for the big guy, but I got kind of a, a no. <laughs> Let's just put it down. Okay. Oh, he told his pacho not to touch the dirty thing. <laughs> okay. Don't touch the dirty thing, pacho. Everybody's going to wash your hands. Okay. You don't want everybody. <laughs> so you had to share rooms. They're naturally dirty. No. But in the morning them. you come down and you so okay. Clean. Now it during the night, so clean. Uh, as you're sleeping, oh no, um, a murder happened. A, uh, at your window you hear tapping. You're <laughs> bunking with who? Uh, me. You're probably bunking with uh, N. Because you guys, Never there's only a couple of rooms. Because everyone hates my character. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna bunk with him. He smells your whole life. He sleep with him. And little Roddy, Roddy's, what? Roddy's snoring really loud. You're with the spacho. No, and, Roddy's with the spacho. Yeah, he's laying curled up, and you're yeah. laying in him. I'm in there. Am I am? Yeah, well, oh, he's a big guy, and you can lay in the fur. Oh, yeah. no, thank you. So you hear a. There's a bird outside the window. Oh. And uh, oh, what happened? I was in the fire. And you, uh, and the bird has. Has this wrapped in its on his feet? Okay. <clears throat> oh wow, you actually burned it. To, uh, give it a bit more uh, flare. Uh, yeah, it. yeah, flare. Yeah, it's flare. <laughs> you gotta mix some coffee with some water and make it look old. Yeah. Is that how you do it? So I, I thought it was it. tea leaves or something. Uh, yeah, tea, 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 tea leaves. Tea leaves. Tea leaves. Our, we had to Stand crunch it all in a ball, dip it in coffee, <clears throat> crunch it again, dip it in coffee. Yeah, that's what I used to do to make stuff look old for yeah. projects. It's cool. Well, I, I thought you were going to have to wait until the morning to say what happened. Oh, okay. So, uh, everybody just sleeps it. the rest of the night. Oh, Everything's God. good. Great. <laughs> Everything's good. So, you come down, and I'm just going to have everybody meet downstairs, and it's hot cakes. Time for hot cakes. Wow. Stack of hot cakes. You're feeling like Roll a 20. Let's make sure you're feeling okay. Yeah, you're feeling okay. Okay. Little, little, uh, little, little indigestion. Roddy wants to give milk. Roddy yeah. wants to give me cake. Yeah, you can, have, cake. you can have some hot cakes with you milk. Yeah, Roddy wants to uh, give milk. milk for your little guy. Milk for your little guy. Yeah, they, only have, they only have a little one cup of milk left. Oh, gee, no, give it to the little man. Oh, okay. The little man like oh, you. Oh, know. okay, that's true. I'm a big man. I need to be hey, sweet. Why why does he want hot the, cakes? Does this Macho want hot cakes? Wait, wait, wait. Why don't you turn the hot cakes off? He says no. He says no. He's a human form. Why do you want hot cakes? Do you want to turn into a human form? You want to see what? Oh like? yeah, sure. So you need to do that. You don't want to do that down here. At the no, table, right? Come uh, down. Come be a young lad. So why why did you ask this question? Well, we can, he, 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 we've been going. It makes more sense that while we're in town to be in the human form. It we'll, does. We'll be, be fine. fine. He's an okay. Old boy. Well, no, here I got you something. Oh. Instead of this big guy, it'll be this little boy right there. So I found I found it's not easy to do. But I did find a, uh, so, so you will make a change in your room. The change is, you know, it's, are you, you is Roddy going to watch him change? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so, you He's know, it goes, it's, it's pretty, it's kind of gruesome. It's kind of, kind of, uh, it's not as, it's not a beautiful, like, shrinkage kind of thing or anything like that. He could, <laughs> not like, like twists and conforms and, yeah, <laughs> all of the shit on him fall, starts falling off of him and he's, he uh, he comes out as a little guy. Um, uh, nothing. You hear popping and grinding of the bones and like shrinking. No, it changes. It recedes back inside of him. Most of it. Okay. He still is a fuzzy thing, but his bones are gonna pop. He's gonna be you know going down. He's shrinking and stuff like that. Not like werewolf in London with his blood all over and stuff like that. There's no blood or anything nasty like that. But it's a big change. It's amorphosis and he gets smaller. I found this guy too. <clears throat> That'll work. He's a little tall. For <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be able to see him. Mm. He's just kind of a goomer. Mm. Yeah, he kind of that's a kind of like you can pass him around. Let everybody see. Oh, see. Yeah, he's kind of a douche. 
<laughs> Let's just put it that way. He's looking like he doesn't know where he is. Uh, yeah, well, you know, he's 10, 12, 11 years old. You know. So you'll have to uh, speak it uh, for him. Ah, there you go. His watch won't stay on the same. Okay, I, I gave him a lot of uh, foot pad there. All right, so everybody's going to eat. And. I'm not really into hot cakes. He's a little boy. Yeah, sure. He likes hot cakes. He still likes the milk. Right, he can sit with you. He, he now, <laughs> now that you're not a big guy, you're taking it from him. Yeah. Tell him to like it's not fair. He's fine, you You gotta remember he can like it. So he's a little kid for you now. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's going to be right. He's gonna kick you in the head. Oh, 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 oh. Really, really, he really don't want to be like he, this when we're locked. Wait, did he, did he did you get influenced enough by Roddy to kick you in the shin? No. He would never kick his uncle in the shin. He respects him. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Roddy only kicks anything, people in the shin. Anything respect. to be said as we're uh, going to exit this part? No. No. All right. I so. I panic. Okay. It's a pleasure. So as you're eating them, as as oh, uh, there a mirror? By the way, am I up in my room? There was no mirror except the one you had that was broken. Did you? I don't know the period. You got to look at it. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of all left my hair back. Yeah. Well, now you've got a scar on your I face. I don't Chris. have a scar on my face. Well, apparently you had that scar for a while. I actually healed that. So it's kind of it's still a little dark. A still a little dark. It's a different color. No, it's normal. On the side of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow pink on that. On the still the healing. Side. Did you have you been putting I, your I, salve on? It was an hour. We didn't even use it. Well, but you could heal it, but it's still cells, got to. My cells can heal through it. it. That's how the healing spells work. Only long-term scars can be healed, but that can easily be healed by. Well, I'm not saying this is going to scar, but it's going. It's transforming. It's coming back to your skin. But I'm going to repeat the cast on. Turn my mood on it until it fully heals. Yeah, it won't work. All right. <laughs> it heals the damage. All right, this group, you guys are. I will always solve my cold sauce. Healing. You're sitting there worrying about that. Oh Meanwhile, Lizzie's mind with scars yeah. around her eyes. Yeah, and yeah. 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 He's, he's been helping her a lot. <laughs> my character's gonna be true. All right. Do you have coffee? So, huh? Do they have coffee? No. 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 I love you drinking a Nico Brown. Going like, well, yesterday was productive day. <laughs> yes, Nico Brown is the uh, is the is the uh, drink of choice. So, uh, see, old man Elliot comes back and says, good morning. Good morning. I got your uh, steeds outside. I've taken your nags okay. away. So no more blue horses. Thank you. No no more blue horses. Are you talking about blue horses? You're going to be by nature. That's oh, you, not you, the you, case. And no. please follow my suggestion. I ain't seen blue horses. If you see a fellow selling you a blue horse, we got blue horse you, you bring him to me. And what we'll do is we'll shake him up a little bit. Cause we that, got blue horses. You get blue horse you. All right. So I have your horses outside. You've uh, paid me. Oh yeah. Great. How much is it? Well, uh, it's a uh, uh, three. I want to see the horse first. Well, uh, all the horses are outside, oh, so okay. there's three, three of those, four of those horses. Wow. When you got what color is my horse? Uh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it blue? All right, it's not blue. I'm gonna determine what I need the horse. I got me another. Wait, wait, can no, I get a blue horse? Your horse is gray. Wait, I want a red horse. Your horse is brown. My horse is on net neutrality. Your horse is gray. Is that Lizzie's or ends? The Lizzie's. Lizzie's okay. We'll go ends. Yours is brown. Oh dang! And down. Nobody got a black and nobody got the white. What about blue? There is no blue. There is no blue. No, it's a blue horse somewhere. Oh, wait, we probably have a picture of a blue horse. <laughs> All right, I'll look it up. I'll find that it. That is not real. <laughs> Occasionally, he says, if you find one, bring him to me. There are out. There have been. This is a world of fantasy. But if it is a true blue horse. It's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you like three thousand. That's the rich buy those, and they just sit around with them. The women sit with them, and they lay on them, shit like that. They are useless. They are no. fey horses. They no. come from the rift. No. They're worthless. Wait, wait. isn't that? Wouldn't that be kind of like that horse in The Witcher Three, where you uh, have some? <laughs> uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna mention the rest. It's of a it. family <laughs> show. It's family. Family. <laughs> You and your damn horse nastiness. You no, are, you're he, nasty you're an individual. The black girl in Richard Three. I know what you're talking about, but that's not. They're the they 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 horse. 
the unicorn. Oh, that oh, the unicorn. Is, it, is, it, is it in the game? Was 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 it in the Was it in the game? Was it in the game? Was it in the I don't remember it. Was it in, inside a room? No, it was outside. It was outside. They did all night. That was a forest but it's a unicorn. I think that's the gal I killed instead of doing that, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, you missed out then. Yeah, there's, there's, was it the blonde one? No, no it's not the black eyed one. It's the, one of the main no. girls. Jennifer? Jennifer, yeah. yeah. Uh, I ditched both of them. Uh, I ditched the, the blonde. And I, ended, killed her. I ended up going with both, and I finished where I was going with David at the end. Yeah, you might as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Well. What do you, yeah. That's the most Chad ending. He, he ends up being a ladies' man throughout. Yeah. I, I'm no, of course. Man. Of course. Yeah, There's yeah. no repercussions for that. Yeah, well, All right, so uh, 12, 1,200 gold. And uh, the unicorn. Can you call the unicorn? Yeah, I Okay, he gives off. each one of you a whistle. Yeah, 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 you can yeah. use this whistle to call your horse. Is there a master whistle? I'm sorry? Is there a whistle I can... I can call, I can call all of them at once. At once. Calls every horse. Well, I suppose they're all the same whistle. So oh, you could say each one of them is a master. So what happens if we're in a dangerous situation? C blows her whistle and she's away from me. I blow my whistle. Would the horses get confused and stop? The horse, any horse that's within range will come. Well, what happens if it clips the ranges of both mine and say that they both whistle at the same time? They'll both same come. Line, They'll come. Place. No, but there's, there's a, a different zone to one point to the horses. It's all just one sound, and any of the horses will respond. Okay. But only your horse or her horse will respond, not all the horses around in the area. Okay. This is just a good thing to allow the horse to. To, 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 to graze. Oh, there is not a master whistle. There is not a master whistle. Ronnie will find the master whistle now. I was thinking I was being baited to going down to say master something else. And I was trying to avoid that. So there is no master whistle. Is there a master beat? No. No. There is, There's no way to bait all the horses. Bait all the horses. That's why I thought he was going. That's what I thought he was going. I'm not, to that. No. I'm not going to do that. Here's a whistle. Here's a whistle. I gave he says, I'm trying to do that. I thought you were trying to go down that road constantly. So, uh, oh, yeah, we got to go outside. I I, you, have to, you have to summon the unicorn. I'll take the unicorn. I need to talk And uh, you will see. So you guys step outside. And outside are very nice horses. He says to you, I got you a big one. Nice. Just like the one you yeah. wanted. Uh, yours is gray, so yeah. it's obviously a bigger horse. And you can see it's, it's they're much more muscular. These horses, they look shiny. Their coats are shiny. You know, like their hair is well combed. They're well kept. Um, he says, uh, I, uh, you know, he says, I put your saddles on these horses. These horses will help you if you try to have if you have a need for like you can rope the horses. Uh, they're used to the ropes. If you need to pull something, these will will help you with that and such. I beg of you, try to get good, clean water for them wherever you're at. They drink you, my water. They should drink your, some of your water. If you, if you, the water you want them to drink, you should be willing yeah. to drink too. Yeah. I'm you see what I'm water. saying? Now, when you go to a place, into a town, pay extra to the to the keeper there, the the uh, ta the, the stable, the stable master. Tell them you want to keep the horses in a dry place and in a nice area. Pay extra for it. Pay extra for oats. Don't have them feed them just the grasses and uh, whatever. Natural grass is fine, but some of the crap these guys pull together, they're just trying to scrimp by. They're trying to make their money. They don't care. They're not going to see you again, they don't think. So treat your horse like you would treat yourself. And so you can tell these things are really, really good. So he says, hey, you Oh, yeah, and he's going to call horny, 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 horny 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 Pringles. So... I'm sorry, I heard. Horny, come to me. And what did you say? The horse shall now be called Pringles. Well, I thought you said you were going to feed it Pringles. No. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> right in front of this guy, he's going he's gonna, to he would scream. Ah! Okay. <laughs> what? You said, you said Pringles. You said feed it, and I'd feed it myself. So, yeah, you feed your pizza I, Pringles. I, I grab what you grab, too. You should be able to grab it. All right. <laughs> Start just chugging them out and give some dip. Give some dip. Give some dip. Give it the other dip. It's good for you. Sorry, my horse. Imagine the flash. If I live the Gamer lifestyle, the horse yeah. is still living too. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hot pockets. Oh, right? Yeah. Give some hot, hot pockets. Hot pockets. Or hot pockets. Can you hand um, So he's going to, you're going to pay him. He's going to take, he's taking the other horses away. 
Um, when you get on the horses, you're going to go ahead and you're going to ride with uh, Edward's got his own steed. You've got your own. Lizzie has her own too, and so does Ann. So who is Roddy and Spacho going to ride with? Okay, one of them, you're, who's going to ride with Ann? Ronnie! Okay, and where's Gaspacho going to ride with? They're riding. He can ride, he's riding with Lizzie. Right. He's a little kid, he can't ride. Yeah, he can ride. Oh, okay. He's not like the big tiger. Yeah, he ride that bird. And his problem now is too, because of when did you change? Today. In the morning. Okay, so if he changes again today, he's going to be like completely knocked out. So you can't really change today. I'm going to offer him uh, to ride with me. He can ride with us here. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't say what the letter said. Okay, go I'm ahead. Gonna say I, could get I thought you were ignoring it for some reason. Before, before we leave, I did get a letter from the Hives last night. It's nice to know I was eating breakfast. Positive news from the leaders of the Isle of Ente and Sate Fo has elevated the Order of the White Rose in ranking. You should be pleased to know you have jumped from fifth seed to third. Did so great a move upward has captured attention from Blue and Aqua. They are hunting big wait, wait. targets in. Kawatakis. Hold on, you're gonna. You're no, gonna... no, hang on. Blue and awkward. It's the same color. It's your bougie. How do you do it? Why is a little bit more greener? Awkward is greener. Oh shit, that's two blue. Why did blue team get two? Why do they have blue team A and blue team B? Made your point. Why are there the gray team? There needs to be an eye. There's no gray rose. We are white. We're gonna fight. We're white. We're white. Yeah. There is. It's called champagne. Not the ivory. Well, I thought that was pink. No, there's oh, pink. Oh, I champagne. The champagne. I read you all the teams. Okay, so okay. so go back down just a little bit to where he got okay. upset. So a great a move team. upward has captured attention from Blue and Aqua. They are hunting big targets in Karatakis and Darkon, but will require a major failure on your part to overtake your station. Remember to report your deeds, accomplishments, and fortunes. This contract is a test to verify Randolph can manage a carrier. Reply with an update and any gains to validate in this process. She didn't once want you it. enter the did. car, <laughs> once you enter the car, seek the chief magistrate in the city hall. His name is Gustav. Dixie Normus. <laughs> Avoid all dark lords from uh, hives. I don't know how to follow that last one. I feel really intense that way through it. Oh, put my mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Or, uh, All right, so the good news is Randolph has received the carrier bird. He has established himself like Hans did as your contact. So you can write back. Can you write? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Of course I you write. What we did. As a wizard. I so you can report genius. in whatever way and shape or form you want. You've already had an adventure of sorts. Okay. So you don't have to write it all out. You can write something quickly to me that you would, would send back to okay. me later. You don't have to do yeah, that now. Either. You can do that, you know, between okay, the yeah. sessions, and we can we can communicate that way. All right. So you moved up. Does that make you happy? Yeah. Tell them about the pumpkin. Tell them about the pumpkin that we fought. Oh, I don't know about the pumpkin. Big pumpkin. Pumpkin go on. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Big ass pumpkin. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We can to kill a dark lord. Don't we kill the little I think, you, I think you better make sure you're telling the, the truth, <laughs> just in case. But we'll see how that goes. You know, hey. You know, I'm pretty certain it's up to you. Dark Lord staff would have a much major. I think anyone would be able to recognize that a Dark Lord dive if they control the whole region. All of a sudden, the sun, the sun, <laughs> sun shining, the clouds oh, water. It's the Dark just Lord. Oh, the Dark Lord seconds. died! At the Dark Lord of my All of a sudden, skeletons come in from both sides trying to take over the land. So you are now on your horses. Your horses, you can tell, are not as fidgety. They, they, they seem to, when you're riding them, the ride is much smoother. It's easier on you as well. Okay. So it's not, you know, you're not having problems and stuff. When you, if you knee the horse with your right, it starts to go to the right. It starts to go that way. If you do a little to the left, they're very um, quick to react to what happens with your instructions based on your body. Yeah. So you can tell you've got an upgrade. Pardon? You got a slick turn. Yeah, you basically turned in for some Maseratis. You're good. Are you okay? I yeah. see you're struggling. I'm okay. Okay. We did? No, it's okay. I didn't mean to startle you. It's just if you're tired, let me know. We'll, we'll make sure we're not so wait, long tonight. Wait, did we ever establish that we were the Order of the White Rose? To the Is this Randolph party? asking? Or are you... Uh, uh, no, I'm going to add Primo's sign and say, 
Well, you're talking to your horse. Yeah. No, I don't think he's talking about talking to the no, horse. No, but, no, no, but, but good try. Yeah, he's no, he's no, ready to upsell to everyone. I was going to say. the right road. We can say the horse. Yeah, yeah, my, my say you never say identify we, yourself as the order of the white rose to anyone. We could say we're the order of the orange rose. Okay, I made a mistake. He did such a shit job. We're the order of the orange rose. I'm putting the village down. You could do that. This is. No, I am the orange rose. This is all. This is all. You got the perfect guy, right? Fire. Just remember that no witnesses. That what you do comes back. And if, and if, if you're, if you're, if it's found out that you are pretending to be someone you're not, that's not going to help your ranking. As it says in the letter, it says, "Don't screw up." Right? It says it. Don't screw up. Basically, and you're already plotting to screw up. It's up to you. I'll leave it to you guys. You know. All right. Oh. Lizzie forgot her horse was gray. She named it Heza. Well, that works. And horse kind is of, pink. It's kind of. Mine is Chestnut. That works, right? It's still. I think I have the most number one name. Chestnut. I like how Pringles is the best name. So you start down the road having uh, everybody is, is feeling good. Uh, I'm going to put you first because you seem to be the leader. Mm -hmm. I seem to recall that you've prescribed yourself as, as the leader of this group. Only if someone such as I can lead such a group. Uh, um, so you're within, Ronnie's within, um, Gaspacho is riding with Edward Cheers. in the front. Okay, oh, okay, thank God. I'm right. So, so, so I, I think you're in the back. I'm like, that's about to my <laughs> you leave the uh, smoke trail! Got that, got that, well, what did you call it? His, his oh, uh, crack, crack pipe. pipe. No, it's actually got the crack pipe in the back. He's doing what the, so the caterpillar is doing in the Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And who, who are, are you? you? And he's doing the little... Designs with the smoke. So your path again is very in sync. Uh, yeah, it's almost like we planned it. Again, you have these planks across the road. The roads here are very well maintained. As we talked about, it's kind of the breadbasket of the domain. So on your horses, you're you're moving along very well um, along your road and along your path. You started out in the day, having taken heed from old man Elliot. You're not going to push your horses as hard as you yep. used to. You got to stop nice. every once in a while. You're going to give them food and water. Gonna, I'm as we're horse riding, I'm going to talk to Caspacho about how great a life can be in the order of the fine form. What's Caspacho going to do? I'm going to recount the tales of the hero of people in the divine form. I'm going to leave out Father Gregory in this retelling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can leave him out. He wouldn't know. Yeah, you yeah, So, I, I, so the, some of your stories are about all the good things, yeah, all the good things, all the positives. Yeah. Obviously, the they latest. can use some. Yeah, you, know, you can upsell him, but I mean, don't yeah. you hate shapeshifters or faith? They're not shapeshifters. No, they're not. I mean, they're not. It depends on how you look at things, right? The shape, you don't look through rose-colored glass. Anything yeah. like other people. We only hate them because of the city that we're in, Paradox. And how much they screw up things around Paradon. That's why we hate those. But he's a werebeast. It's different. Okay. So you're you're gonna recruit a twelve-year-old kid? Yes.